don't justify you are miserable don't justify then what to do with the miseries make others miserable you relax <laughs> see this is the foundation of whole life whether you call dharma whether you call yoga whether you call bhakti whether you call upasana whether you call knowledge whatever you may call this is the foundation everything that we do or we do not do is meant only for one thing that we are all seeking happiness this is our mistake don't seek happiness see one common uh, shloka from bhagavad gita many people quote like you know some places they quote uh, uh, urdu sher in between to show off their literacy in the same manner in groups like ours they quote sanskrit and in that they say see it is said in our gita karmandir uh, vadikar aste only one quarter they know further they do not know <laughs> see there are four principles told karmande vadikar aste ma phaleshu kadachana ma karma phala hetur bhuhu mate sangha astu akarmani four now what is normal translation that you have right to do your duty you have no right on your uh, results of the karma you should not be the doer you should not be lazy four principles mate sangha astu akarmani don't be useless be productive throughout life be attentive this is the normal translation my translation is happiness oriented only through understanding you can do this you don't have to do anything physical see when you do something today the result will be at a future period of time is it not today i sow some seed the fruit or the tree will come tomorrow or day after now what we are doing i am doing this thing so that i will get that thing and then i will be happy so everything that we are doing in life is only to get happiness now tell me most of you are married have you got married to become miserable everybody gets married to become happy silence followed jaane kahan gaye wo din see friends so anything that we do is for getting happiness anything we do not do is for getting happiness so there are only two expressions of life pravritti and nivritti involvement and withdrawal and both of them are meant only for getting happiness in short we are all the seekers of happiness this is the mistake don't seek happiness in life this is what bhagwan krishna wanted to tell but we people change to our benefit that is not the meaning what normally people trans- translate it if you have to understand it first karmani eva te adhikarah be attentive do we have a choice to live yesterday or to live tomorrow we have to live today no choice all that we do or we do not do is done now three if we are doing something so that we will get happiness in the future period of time what we are doing we are postponing our own happiness in the future period of time is it not those people who postpone the happiness in the future period of time they can never become happy in life then what to do therefore stop seeking happiness in life stop seeking happiness then express happiness life's expressions are through three channels gujarati is gross body gujarati is cannot say gross body the gross body so body then speech up bhaiya cannot say speech is speech 
our country has got such a variety. So, body, speech and mind. These are the three channels through which life expresses. Now express all the actions not to get happiness but to express happiness. What will happen? Like suppose you are walking. Walk happily. But this, uh, yaar, I do walk there like a buffalo, padak, 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 ram, ram, ram. Yeah. Walk in the dignity of a healthy person. See? No, I cannot walk. Seeking attention, be very attentive. Those who are miserable and those who are exposing their miseries to the world, it is the highest level of ego. Don't distribute your miseries to the world. World has got sufficient. Therefore, if somebody asks you a question by mistake, how are you? Sit down. And then start. Atraso Satan me. Who is interested in our past? We don't understand this. Nobody is interested in our past. Everybody is concerned about their own future. But old is like me. What can I have? If I got peanuts in my pocket, can I distribute chocolates? See, Maharaj. Therefore, when you understand this basic principle, don't seek happiness in life, express happiness in life. Let every action be an expression of happiness. Whenever you do anything happily, you will not be tired. See? Whenever you do anything, oh God, I have to do this thing. Like somebody was asking me, Swamiji, you have got lecture here, then your retreat is going on there, lecture. Are you not tired? I said, I'll be tired if I am seeking happiness from that. No, I am expressing happiness. I am happy now. If you are suffering, it's your problem, not mine. <laughs> See, friends, let every action be an action of uh, expression of happiness. There was one uh, uh, South Indian girl married to a Punjabi. And uh, South Indian means what? Idli dosha. And Punjabi means chapati paratha. So this poor South Indian girl, she got married and she has to do chapati every day. She was so fed up. Every day. I don't know, whole life I have to make chapati and her chapati will become sometime New Zealand, sometime Australia, never coming around and always getting condemnation and she was doing it and miserable. In that house, everybody was suffering from constipation. Because whenever you do anything without happiness, you suffer and you make others suffer. Don't do, if you don't have to do, don't do it. But we are average people, like air hostesses. When you go and say, welcome, and you ask, get me some water. <laughs> <laughs> See? So their facial expressions are joy, but inside there is acidity. <laughs> Therefore, do anything that you have to do happily. Or don't do it. No, no problem. Don't do it. You are walking the path of yoga. Because when you express happiness, it is coming from within. When you seek happiness, you are borrowing from outside. This example which I gave you. Smoking cigarette, getting happiness from outside. Giving up cigarette smoking, discovering happiness from within. You have to do this. Nobody can do it for you. There is no proxy for life. There is no proxy for death. There is no proxy for your spiritual life. You have to live your life. You have to die your life. You have to do your spiritual practice. Nobody can help us. So instead of seeking happiness through action, express happiness through action. 
Second thing, we use another means that is the speech. Whenever we talk, why not talk cheerfully, happily, softly? Okay. You must have come across. There are some people, they don't talk. They bark. Why did they come? Why did they come? Oh, 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 Ram, Ram, Ram. Bark. Relax. Bhagavad Gita says, Anudvega karam vakyam satyam priya hitam chayat. Talk in such a manner that the one who is listening, he doesn't get offended. He doesn't feel bad. He doesn't feel insulted. You have done yoga. See? This is discovering self. This is looking within. Tada drashtuhu sarupi avasthanam. Sarupa is bliss. And the acquired nature, you are creating blisters. Choice is yours. See, friends.